Hey everyone, um, I am trying out a new system tonight. So uh, in addition to how we normally have a conversation, um, definitely let me know if uh, you're having any issues seeing this or um, anything else. Now what I will say is a lot of times I have a whole display out in front of me of products. I'm gonna do my best tonight to just mention all of the products that you would be seeing in front of me. Um, because I want to give you those great holiday tips and help you build a holiday, better holiday plan. I just am not able to do that in front of you and in, in front of you and in front of me tonight. Um, okay, and I just want to see um, if anyone is here, if you want to give me a comment. Um, so first of all, today, if you tell me um, the, ent the whole time that this is going on. Hi, Kirsten. Thank you so much. It's good to, now that I know that it's working. Okay. Um, if you want uh, the Better Nutrition Guide, as it says on the screen, you can text um, Better Nutrition to the number 44222 and you can get your free guide. Um, but you can also get a free guide just by giving me a thumbs up or saying hello or telling me what you hope to get from a holiday present this year or one of the things that you are going to do to help build a better holiday plan. Um, so the thing is, a holidays, they're actually, depending on how you slice it, only about anywhere from three to 10 days um, of holidays, uh, maybe three to um, 11 days of holidays if we count Halloween, uh, depending on your religion, depending on what you celebrate, all of those things. And so theoretically, 11 days over the course of three and a half months shouldn't be a big issue. Unfortunately for us, we have the holiday season. And if we have a season where we go off the rails, it can end up really having us sort of crawling our way into January 2nd, feeling like we need a reboot or a cleanse or, you know, a, a dry, um, thank you, Matt, um, a dry, you know, not drinking all of January. And basically it can leave us in an unfun January mode um, and also with more work to do, especially if we're already in the weight loss mode or we're already trying to work on building muscle or anything. It can, you know, if we let the holidays undo our efforts, um, then we have more work to do in January, which January is not the time when we want more work to do. Um, one of the things that I care a little bit more about um, in that space is that I also end up having a lot of clients and patients reach out to me in January how original, uh, to start a nutrition plan. But of my existing patients, uh, they're often dealing with illnesses, sicknesses, things brought on either by stress or by um, their immune systems being run down, et cetera. So this Build Your Better Holiday Plan is actually a little bit more targeted towards your overall health. So the way I want us to remember, and Rerun just came in. Hi, Rerun. Hi, sweetie. Um, the way I want us to think about it um, uh, lovely Pilates accessories and new workout clothes. Ooh, Kirsten, I kind of like that. All right, we'll think about how we can do a contest where we can get you to be able to win some of those things, right? Um, so what I want you to think about when it comes to building your better holiday plan is, first of all, it has to be your better plan. So if any of the things that I'm suggesting tonight are not reasonable, then... Um, uh, then just let them go. We'll work on something that's reasonable for you. And yes, I do know that my glasses give a little bit of a glare, but I also, I suffer from astigmatism. And if I take my glasses off, I end up with a headache. Let me see if I can reduce the glare. I'm sorry. It's just the lighting, I think, of the evening. Um, better one, better two. You know what? I don't know what to do. Anyway, sorry if it's bothering you. You could just look away from it and just have the volume on. How about that? Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, four Ds. The four Ds when it, of um, are what we're going to focus on for building your better holiday plan. And so the four Ds, let's start with digestion. Not a small wonder that I'm starting there because remember, you're not what you eat, you are what you digest and absorb. And as I went through with my members, my Better Nutrition members, which if you're interested, you can head over to the Better Nutrition membership and uh, check that out at um, the Better Nutrition Program.com. You'll see it over here right in this. Let's see, where would, how would I do that? It would be like over here in this corner. Um, we do it over there. I just fist bump my own sign. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, um, so the Better Nutrition membership, of course, has better nutrition tools, but we also do a weekly challenge. And this last week's challenge was around glutamine. And the reason I was so focused on that is I wanted to make sure that for people going into the holidays that we have to think about the inside of our digestive tract like a layer of skin. And so just like skin works on the outside of our body to keep certain things in, like namely our organs and, you know, all the things inside. Um, but the second thing it is, and you're absolutely right, Kristen, you're absolutely right, that it's also digestion is the first defense to beating cravings. I'm going to come back to that in a second. 
Um, but that skin is also supposed to let things out, i.e. perspiration, um, and protect us from letting like things like bacteria get in. So we want to make sure that um, just like when our skin gets too dry or can get crackly or if we have irritated skin on the outside, we want to make sure that we don't have that irritated skin on the inside in our digestive tract. And that can come from stress. It can come from medications. It can come from um, you know, not eating, not getting in certain foods, et cetera. And so it's really important to take care of your digestive system. So the first D of building your better holiday plan is digestion. So are you going number one? Are you going number two? Do you smell good? Do you not smell as pretty as you actually are? Are you pooping pellets like little rabbit stuff? Is it hard to go? Is it you're going all the time, you know, and are we having odors in other places? Is your body odor, do you notice a change there? Do you notice a change with your breath? These sorts of things are really important to pay attention to, and they're important to pay attention to now because they're going to be a cornerstone. Your digestion is going to be a cornerstone of how your body does with all of the challenges of the holidays added on top. So normally your body can handle some, maybe some alcohol, maybe some extra if you want to have some cheese or some cookies or some sugar, you know, it can handle a little bit less sleep. It rebounds from these things. But if your digestive system isn't working well, it may not rebound well and you may get sick. And the other part of it is, is that if your digestive system isn't working well and now you overload, you get more of those things in because you're a holiday party, holiday season partier, um, or you've got a lot of people coming, so there's a lot of stress, all these things, you're going to want to make sure that digestive system is working well. And I'd like to break up a myth. And that myth is, is that if I take probiotics, I now have a good digestive system. Um, as somebody who pretty much launched the media communications around probiotics about 10 years ago, I feel very good about you know, at the time, we really had to do a job of educating the country on what is a probiotic. I helped launch a line, and at the time, people didn't know, and they knew even about lactobacilli, and they didn't know about bifidobacteria. Now we know, but now we're also getting it everywhere, like corn tortillas, juices, candy, and not all of these probiotics are even good for you or going to do their work, especially if the rest of the digestive system isn't working well. So you can't just take a probiotic and say... I've got that D checked off the list. You've got to work on your digestion. The other reason I'm focusing on that today is that today, if you are watching this today, i.e. Um, on the 30th or on the 31st, on both of those days, um, you can still download for free on the homepage the Better Digestive Evaluation. So you can get to work on that. You have no excuses to not at least assess where your current digestion is. And that's really important. You don't want to guess if your digestive system is working better. You don't want to be like, well, I, I don't feel bloated today, so my digestive system is working well. Mm -mm. You want to make sure that it's working better so that everything else can be working more effectively and efficiently for you. All right, so D number one of four, digestion. D number two is detoxification. Detoxification. You may have heard me talk about detoxification before. If not, get ready because it is one of my favorite things to talk about. Why? Because we talk about going on a detox like it's a vacation, maybe a painful vacation, um, but a vacation that we should go do instead of the fact that we actually have a detoxification system in our body. And that system is responsible for identifying toxins, which, oh, by the way, may not be things that we're thinking of like, ooh, harmful chemicals. Certainly those are toxins. Um, but they also may just be things that are used, you know, that our body has used up and is now does not need to... Uh, doesn't need to keep them around. We need to clean up. And part of the issue with detoxification is that if your liver is not functioning optimally, um, hello, Betty Ann, great to see you. If your liver isn't functioning optimally or if your whole digestive and detoxification system isn't working together, so i.e. you're working on the detox part but you're not getting the elimination part, um, then we can run into real issues. So how can we support our detoxification system? Well, if you're a Better Nutrition member, this week you're going to get a whole lot of liver loving information because I'm obsessed with the liver. You can also, for those of you who are not a member, you can pop on over to um, the BetterNutritionProgram.com and head to my TV media section and watch um, the segment that I did on ABC News. You can also hear on Facebook, uh, just catch it here in the video section. Um, and you will be able to see, or I think just scroll through. I don't think it's in my videos. I think you just scroll through. Um, you'll be able to see some of my top tips for supporting detoxification. And they include things like broccoli. I'm a broccoli girl. I happen to love broccoli long before I knew it was good for me. You would have thought that Popeye was just saying broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. 
or maybe like to rebel against Popeye. Like I arm wrestled his spinach and won with my broccoli. I just loved broccoli. And then over the years, I found out that it was good for me. And detoxification was something I later learned that is actually the broccoli florets, the curly head part, have the highest amount of, of one of the antioxidants called glucoraphnin. There are a lot of antioxidants that are great for detoxification. For example, reishi has some really uh, important antioxidants. Reishi is a mushroom uh, that I also really like. Silmarin, um, another nutrient, uh, other antioxidants in dandelion and an artichoke. I mean, there's so many that are really helpful. But let's focus on that glucoraphnin because it does something special. It helps to upregulate phase two detoxification. There's totally going to be a quiz on this. If you don't pass it, you don't get to go on to Halloween candy. Um, I'm just teasing. You need to get in your broccoli, though. And if you don't uh, or if you can't get in your broccoli or you can't get in it more often or if you're like me and you happen to love um, green tea or black tea during the day, you can also get brassica tea. That would be one of the products I would be showing you, which is powered by True Brock. I also take um, different supplements supplements that have the true Brock ingredient in them. That's that, that dose, the amount that I really like of the glucoraphnin for my patients. And especially if you're someone who lives somewhere where there's pollution um, or excessive pollution, I've been recommending this. Actually, one of my uh, clients um, works on a popular Netflix TV show, and I just had her buy for her whole production crew up in, because they are filming up in Santa Rosa, um, where the fires unfortunately happened, and they're back to filming, and a lot of them are having respiratory stuff. And so I said, you've got to take this tea. Um, one, the tea is great for you from an antioxidant standpoint. Two, you can get in from a glucoraphanin standpoint. You can get that part in. Um, okay, so uh, I was just checking my notes um, on to detoxification. So I mentioned other things. I mentioned reishi and silmarin and dandelion and artichoke, and you're probably going, what, where, when, how, why? So first of all, let's talk about delicious reishi. So I love that there is a reason that I'm meant to drink what I call chocolate milk 4.0. So my friends at Rebel Elixirs, I work with them as a company. Um, they do a great job of making a dark chocolate protein drink uh, that has an elixir because it has ashwagandha and reishi in there. And those are adaptogens that are going to help not just your liver work better, um, but also are going to help your body respond better to stress. And guess what? During the holidays, there can be some stress going on. And one of the things that happens when stress goes on is that digestion doesn't go on on its normal pace at, at its normal pace so really love that you can also get reishi um, I showed this in the video um, from Om Mushrooms that's one of my new favorite powders that I love to add to different things I was mixing it into my yogurt this morning and making a smoothie with that and turmeric and turmeric leads me over to something else that is great for detoxification just add a pinch of black pepper in there you can get it that way or you can also get it in a therapeutic dose added um, you know if I'm giving it to somebody in a supplement there are different products that I like, like um, from Gaia Herb, they have a boost powder. I've always loved Zyklamen from New Chapter. Um, Mega Food has this wonderful product called Daily Purify that I really like, and it combines a bunch of these different ingredients all in one. Uh, you can add it into a little bit of a juice if you want. Um, I actually find it, I love it in water. Um, I taste, it, to me, it tastes great, and I just feel like I'm getting a bit of a, de of a beverage that's going to support my body's detoxification system. And that is because I like to be able to say, like, let me go have wine or let me go over to somebody's house and not worry about is everybody here wearing shoes and what have they tracked in or, you know, the person next to me today at the gym was coughing the entire time and there was only one machine that I was on is the only one and I wanted to move because I'm like, I'm just getting over. I fought a cold and I won, not wood. And here you go. And so I just sat there like I did my workout and then I sat there in the sauna pouting because I was so upset. But then I was like, oh, I'll just go home and I'll detox and you know, make sure my detoxification system is getting what it needs while I enjoy other foods that are really supportive of detoxification. Things like hemp seeds or if you enjoy wild salmon, um, greens like arugula and collards and, you know, all the foods that are good for you. The things that aren't good for detoxification are um, detoxes that are labeled that way and have nutrients uh, that don't have nutrients in them that support the body's detoxification system like not really sure where charcoal came into the whole, I'm going to detox. Um, it may, you know, A, coat your intestine, um, but B, it may also um, help you eliminate, but it's not engaging the body's detoxification system. What it's doing 
is we've actually used it for poison control. When you've consumed poisons, we've used it to eliminate. So if that's what you need, um, if you have actually consumed a poison, then that might be your go-to, but it's not consistently my go-to. Now, I do love charcoal for as a soap. I think it is, there's a real, uh, I use it as a, also from beauty counter. I'll use it for my skin and as a soap. Um, I find it great for um, just getting at some of the stuff that I want to eliminate from the skin on the outside. I don't use it on the inside. Okay, so D is for detoxification. How often should you be detoxifying every daggone day? Okay, maybe not every day because life doesn't happen that way. And if I set that up as a standard, it's trying to be perfect, not better. And we're all about better, not perfect here. So let's just say six out of seven because we got the system. And remember, your kids, um, even babies have a detoxification system. And so that's why it's so important that we, from a very early age, make sure that kids are getting in things like broccoli, um, things like sweet potato, things like um, you know hemp seeds or whole grains or these things in order to make sure that their detoxification system is nourished from the get-go. All right. I should have started with this D. It, can anyone guess? So I've done digestion detoxification. I have four Ds going for build your better holiday plan. Can anyone guess the next two? If you can guess the next two, this is only happening live because I'm just curious how well you know the principles of better nutrition and what I feel that I should have started with. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't start with this D first. Um, so if you can guess this D, then I am going to do a giveaway of a, ooh, I'm going to do a giveaway of some of my favorite detox foods that I just talked about. Oh yeah, I'm not going to tell you which ones, but it's going to happen. If you can guess, so whoever's watching live, if you can guess what the next D is, Hit me up pretty quickly. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip that one. So it's gonna become the last one while I'm waiting. Ah, I know Kristen. Kristen's gotta guess this one. She's gotta guess it. I feel like you know. And I feel like if you don't know, you, you know where you could find it. Let me be clear. It is the number one principle of better nutrition. And it starts with a D and I can't believe that I forgot it. All right, I'm just gonna, so remember, if you can guess it before I get to it, I'm gonna go to my third D. My third D is it's not defense. We went through detoxification, digestion. Those are the defenses. But in your defense, the, the third D, which really would be the fourth D, because this other one would be the first D, duh, is vitamin D. And it's not that I'm picking one vitamin over all others that are out there, but vitamin D allows me to talk about hormones. It allows me to talk about blood sugar regulation. It also allows me to talk about immune defense. Kirsten, keep guessing and think a little bit more about, think about your favorite foods. Just think about, mm, just think about what your favorite, what would make something way better? What it would better, what better nutrition better be what? I'll give you another hint. My dear friend Tess Masters and I, the blender girl, always talk about this. All right, I'm back to vitamin D. So first of all, if you don't know your vitamin D levels, you got it. You got to know those. So um, now is a great time if you're like me and you used up your deductible and um, you never want to deal with health insurance again because you're so angry at the insurance companies. I'm not angry at the, the Affordable Care Act. I'm angry at the health insurance companies because I don't know how they could raise my deductible by $1,000 and my monthly by $150 and call themselves a business, especially calling themselves care first. Yeah, I just called you out care first. I think it's BS, it's not a D, I think it's a BS and you get a D in my book for healthcare. All right, that said, that's my rant. Go back to happy holiday, building a, ho a holiday, um, a better holiday plan. Because we gotta have a better plan. If we don't have a plan in place, anything can happen. If you're hoping that you get through the holidays, Hope ain't going to get you there. We got to have a better plan. All right. So part of that better plan is vitamin D. So now would be a great time before the total madness of the holidays to go in and get your vitamin D levels checked. Um, that's vitamin D hydroxy. So you can, it's 25 OH. Um, you can certainly, if you want, you can um, just comment anything in the comment section, or if you want to write checklist, if you want my checkup checklist guide, um, let me know. And I'm happy to send that over to you. Um, but 
The reason that you need to know your vitamin D levels is we need to make sure that we're getting in enough and it's harder to get in from food. So you can do the vitamin D evaluation to see if you are, and that's over at the betternutritionprogram.com. Um, you head over there, you join the membership. Heck, you could even become an affiliate. You don't even, you know, you can become an affiliate and help other people get all of this and then make some money from it and buy those great Pilates pants or accessories that you really want, Kirsten. <laughs> Anyway, in terms of your vitamin D levels, the reason it's so important is that vitamin D is actually a hormone, not a vitamin. And as a hormone, it helps our, our thyroid to work better, so making sure that our thyroid function is um, working optimally, our thyroid hormone. And it also helps our body, um, the hormones that are associated with blood sugar regulation. So that's really important because we want to make sure that that insulin gets up and pulls the sugar out of the blood and delivers it to the cells so that the cells get what they need to be energized and your that your um, arteries are not like a crowded highway, you know, where they've got way too much um, sugar in them. So it's really going to be important. Um, and hormones are going to be really important because we do want to make sure that we're nurturing our hormones throughout the holiday season. Where does this come in? The holidays can feel like one big carb bomb. I did not say car bomb. I said carb bomb, C-A-R-B bomb. And that's because a lot of our favorite foods during the holidays are carbohydrates. And in addition, if you're following more of a plant-based holiday, it could even feel more like, oh my gosh, I want the carbs on that part. We need to balance that out with the healthy fats. And you can choose things like deciding to have um, the hemp seeds or the wild salmon that I was talking about, or sardines, if you enjoy eating those. Um, but I really want you to go for a range of the different fats, like avocado. You can get, Yes, you can have coconut oil. I prefer the unrefined um, organic if possible. Um, I love things like, um, uh, um, you know, in terms of getting in your vitamin D, I'm glad you learned something, Kirsten. Uh, I also love, you know, walnut oil. I mean, there's so many wonderful oils. And speaking of walnuts, they're going to be great to get in as well. And so, and vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. So when you get in the fats more often, you're also going to do better with your vitamin D. Now, why am I also talking about vitamin D? Well, did you know that vitamin D is responsible, partly responsible, along with another nutrient, with helping us avoid the holiday blues. Now look, there's nothing that can help us avoid the holiday blues if there's something sad about the holidays. And as somebody, you know, I think that there are, um, for many of us, I will include myself in that part, um, there are many of us who have, ex who have lost loved ones during the holidays, um, and so sometimes the holidays have a little bit of mixed emotions associated with them, etc. So, um, in that way, we can't get rid of those blues. But the blues of feeling extra blue or digestively blue or the stress kind of leading to us not feeling our greatest um, can certainly be a factor. And vitamin D along with magnesium are really important for our serotonin receptor sites. I don't know if many of you know that. And what's so interesting, it's why the, our mood is so linked to making sure that we get in not just the healthy fats, but also making sure that we get in enough of this vitamin D. And so for decades, while we've been just saying to people, oh, drink milk, you'll get in some vitamin D that way, or you get vitamin D for the sun, we've had a lot of people that have not been getting what they need for their mood to be better. Um, so your B vitamins, your vitamin D, your magnesium, and of course magnesium fits into all of this. Uh, I should have talked about it under digestion. I could talk about it under detoxification. I'm going to talk about it right here with vitamin D because also magnesium and vitamin D make sure that the calcium that we're taking in goes over and uh, builds strong bones and it doesn't go off and like create arterial plaque, something like that. Um, hi, Christina. All right, Kirsten, we ran out of time in terms of you guessing. Better nutrition better be delicious. You guys, there is no holiday diet. There is a holiday prescription coming from Ashley Kauf RD. That's right. This dietitian is telling you that the way I want you to choose food during the holidays is by what you find the most delicious. I promise you, if you ask yourself as you're building your plate and you say, I am only going to have things on my plate that are a 7 to 10 in, in terms of deliciousness, you are going to do better. And why is that? First of all, when we get in the D of delicious, we avoid the D of deprived. We're not sitting there going, oh, I can't believe that like she can eat pumpkin pie. And I, if I look at carbs like that, I blow up and whatever. It's like, uh-uh. She's choosing, exactly, Kirsten, she's choosing to eat 
the pumpkin pie. She feels that it's delicious. She's totally enjoying herself. And when you enjoy yourself, when you eat delicious food and you taste it and you really enjoy it, you are going to do better during the holidays. You're going to do better with the amount that you eat. You're going to do better with the nutrient balance, the choices that you're going to make. I promise you. Now, I'm going to make a caveat, especially with children or with those of us that sometimes enable our inner child. You do have to eat your vegetables, but your vegetables better be prepared delicious. Enough of this veggie is not delicious. And here's where I'm going to say, my friend, Test Masters, the blender girl, if you are looking for a recipe for anything related to plants for the holidays, go to her website, theblendergirl.com. That website has so many great recipes. I've only like dug into maybe like a third, if not even a third of them. Um, and by Doug, I meant like had her make a lot of them. Um, and you know, the thing is like, if you want to make chocolate pudding, make it with avocado and then put it, I mean, the stuff she puts in these things, it's like, oh my God, it's so delicious. And they're for the most part, sure. You can use superfood booster ingredients for the most part. They're pretty basic ingredients. And so, you know, the thing about it is if you like make Brussels sprouts or, or radish chips, I was just making my radish chips today and you put the oil on them and you add the salt and maybe you add some rosemary or some other herb that you really love with it, it's going to taste so much better. You know, if you want to make a rice pilaf, why not make it half rice, half cauliflower and add, drizzle the oil and have the spices and enjoy it. The thing is, is that we do badly when we eat stuff that we don't find delicious. Who here has sat at a holiday meal and you've eaten the cookie and then been like, oh, that was kind of okay. Like maybe it was a four on a scale of one to 10, but then you're looking the entire rest of the meal longingly at the cheesecake going, mm, I bet that cheesecake, maybe even that vegan cheesecake, like the rebel no bake cheesecake that I have the recipe for on my website. That's amazing. Um, that that one would be so much better. You got to go with what you think would be delicious. Now, it does happen sometimes that what we think is going to be delicious turns out to be anything but delicious. So then stop eating it. If the whole time that you're, hey, David, if the whole time that you're eating your food, you're saying to yourself, I'm only going to keep eating if what I'm having on a scale of seven, on a scale of one to 10 is a seven or above, a seven or above. I'm not talking sixes here and I'm definitely not talking fives a seven or above, you're going to do better. And that, my friends, is how you build a better holiday plan. You focus on the four Ds. You've got some assignments to do right now. You've got to make sure that your digestion is working well, that you know your vitamin D level is in a good range. I like it at least above 40 for most of us. Um, and, uh, and if it's not, then we're working on improving it. Now it doesn't have to be corrected. All this doesn't have to be improved before the bell strikes in, you know, and, and we enter 2018, which is insane. I can't believe it's 2018, um, or, or that that's coming, but we need to be working on those things. And if you need some extra help from a digestive standpoint or from a, um, detoxification standpoint, remember you can get my detox guide. If you want to text detox one, two, three to the same number four, four, two, 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 you can get the detox guide. And if you want the plant-based guide, you can text plant one, two, three, there's no S plant one, two, three to four, four, two, 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 and you can get the plant-based guide. And right now you can also get the better nutrition guide. And Christina this year did fly by. I don't know if anyone else feels that way or if Kristen, Christina and I are the same and we're the only ones that feel that way, but I feel like I blink, blinked and I was just having this conversation. And I am super grateful because in this year I got to meet many of you, so thank you. Um, and I also have been able to, um, last year I had launched my um, better nutrition membership program. But this year I'm so excited by the people who have joined in particular as members, as well as the affiliates, um, who are, I love, like somebody just told me she's buying her holiday gifts from the money that she's made off the affiliate program. I totally love that. Cause I feel like better nutrition is so totally better business. And so I want to, you know, the fact that she's making, uh, that kind of money, I feel really good about it. And people are getting better nutrition tools. So if your vitamin D is always in the 30s, it's not good enough. That's what I'm going to say to you. It is good. It's just not good enough. Christina, I think we can work on boosting it up. 
Um, and part of that is, is that as we age, our digestion needs, um, often needs some extra attention, uh, but our digestion can impact our, um, our absorption and how our vitamin D levels are doing as well. And so it's really important to be working on a good quality uh, for anyone who is interested and thinks all of this supplement stuff is super important and they would like help with me from me doing the better supplement evaluation, I am available to do that. Head on over to the Better Nutrition program uh, and hit join now and then get yourself a gold membership and you will get me doing your supplement evaluation so that you don't need to do that yourself. I will send you exactly what you should get based on um, and with give you um, also evaluate what you're currently taking. Uh, based on your food, your health, your total nutrition. Okay, and what's the final thing that I want to offer? Well, it's an offer for you to take me up on an offer, which is that if you think that, or if there's someone that you know that thinks, gosh, they could benefit from better nutrition tools. Maybe they could use some help with their digestion or their detoxification. I would love it if you invited them to a Facebook Live. Um, there's also the opportunity I don't know if any of you have checked out my YouTube videos, but I have a ton of information on my YouTube page. Um, all of these quick videos, some are not so quick. Sometimes I go on for six or seven minutes, but a lot shorter than here. Um, a lot of videos about on specific topics, um, and I like to take on the hot topics too. Um, so you can send them over there. That also is free. And then you could also decide to give them the gift of better nutrition, and you could gift them a better nutrition membership which um, I would love because then I would get to be able to help them um, on their way to better health powered by better nutrition. All right, everyone, it is 8.30. And in keeping with my, my better holiday plan, I am going to be off of my digital devices by nine so that I can be getting a great night's sleep and continue to fight um, whatever it was that was trying to make itself known. Uh, tomorrow is Halloween. Tomorrow is also, and this is not the irony of this is not lost on me. Um, thank you, David. Thanks. Uh, head on over to the to um, over on YouTube. And if there's a topic you want me to cover, comment there because I, I look at the comment section. I answer all of those myself. Um, like that's a big feat, but I do. Um, and uh, um, or you can send me a note through my website and just say you, you wanted to a, a video on a certain topic. Um, so tomorrow is Halloween. So happy Halloween, everyone. It's also my mother's birthday. So happy Halloween to my mom. It is also, I am headed over to Obesity Week, so that irony is not at all lost on me. Um, but the really interesting thing about Obesity Week for me is the opportunity as a dietitian to share, you know, first of all, to learn, to learn from doctors and practitioners, but also to share about things like digestion and about things like detoxification, because I think we understand today that obesity is not a result of eating too much food. It's a, it's a result of the body not being able to run better. It may not even have the resources that it needs to run better. Um, so I'm really excited to be able to talk to a lot of doctors and dietitians about that. Um, and I also, if this applies to anyone or anyone is um, uh, knows somebody who has had uh, weight loss surgery, bariatric surgery, or if they are thinking about it, um, I have created a product and a program with Smarty Pants called Smarty Pants Bariatric, and I'm really excited about that because I've worked with bariatric patients for over 15 years, and um, you deserve better. So we all deserve better. Um, you certainly deserve better for being here tonight, and I definitely deserve a better night's sleep, so I'm going to do that for myself. That's a gift to myself, and say goodnight to all of you. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you next week. Take care.